checkbox filters in the catalog. So we have um, added support for this type of uh, course custom field and now supported in the catalog as filters. So uh, this type of feature was needed for uh, the feature courses functionality, as you will see in, in, in the prototypes. So we wanted to introduce it in this screen. Now it just um, the custom course fields uh, work like in any other custom field. So we can create them at, at a course level, and then we can get to the course settings to uh, activate this field. And then in the catalog, um, in the catalog settings, um, we can uh, enable this field. So we can first we can decide if we want to display it in the course listing, and we have settings both for the tiles and the um, and the comp for the compact view and for the list view, and you can change the name of the setting. So uh, and apart from that, you can uh, in the catalog configuration. Um, you can uh, also enable the filter, so you can decide whether you want to show the filter or not, and you can <clears throat> also um, personalize this name in the filter. So combining the three of uh, uh, these three functionalities, you will have um, on the filter side a name for this uh, custom field, which is feature. The value is course of the month, which is also custom, and um, the 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 field has also been added to the list, the elements on the list with a, a custom name as well. Apart from this, then very related with this improvement, we have, and that was great, that's approved by Mr. T. And uh, we have also allowed the styling checkboxes. So these custom fields in the catalog, we added uh, CSS classes, so they can be uh, easily um, styled. And adding something like this to the tenant appearance or to the theme, you could get that this uh, custom field looks like this, or look like looks like this. Uh, um, for maybe about the uh, uh, CSS, because I'm not very good with it, but you get the idea of how you can just put this custom field uh, on top of the image to feature uh, to use it as a uh, feature for any reason. And this is something uh, that is related with the checkbox uh, piece of work. So it's very simple to just allow partners to style and clients to uh, define custom styles for the custom fields. Hi, Tim. Uh, I, I just, I don't know if the screenshot is showing. Yeah, OK. Yeah, as Emilio commented, uh, we have developed uh, the new features to allow to promote uh, some courses in the catalog and main page. Uh, you have to create a checkbox uh, custom field and enable in those courses and those one will appear uh, in the top of the list in the catalog that we have before and also, and also they will have this badge with the custom field name and also uh, obviously this can be uh, customized or disabled or selected other parts and also we have created uh, another standalone section which can be custom, uh, customized and with we have enabled that uh, we will have like this section in the top with only those courses uh, which highlight even more uh, those courses uh, and uh, also with uh, a summary description and, and those kinds of things and the, the list uh, above them in a normal priority and with a feature we think we uh, improve even more the catalog uh, we add more complexity and uh, it's a good feature to 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 the partners to to promote uh, and the courses and to it maybe sell better or whatever hey everyone and andres is also a ux ui designer here uh, wordpress uh, team uh, so i want to showcase a little bit of what we are We've been working on the post launch of the learning catalog. So basically, while working on the learning catalog, uh, we ended up doing a lot of research around it initially, and uh, we had a couple of iterations of it, which included usability testing on the um, on a live uh, Figma prototype. Um, and then after that, we end up with uh, the final version that is out there. So uh, after 4.4. Uh, was launched. Uh, we wanted to test the actual live instance and have a few goals to 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 reach of like testing in terms of testing. So thanks to Marina um, 
on, on our team. Uh, we are, we were able to have a demo site, a live demo site with the catalog, and after doing some customization in terms of brand and and, and uh, organization of courses, uh, we now have a sort of like a music pool uh, setup where we have different categories um, and, and, and different courses um, around the music round. And then um, we're going to be testing it on this live instance. Um, and there are a few features and a few things that we want to test. So we want to test this live instance across devices. So thanks to um, this uh, new tool that we're using, Loopback, uh, we'll be testing it on um, not only on on mobile devices, but on desktop, uh, which you, which will be nice. Uh, we'll be testing uh, both with Moodle experts and e-learning users, uh, and we'll be testing as well different features of the catalog that are now live, uh, such as the side column filters, the course listing view. Uh, like the course cards, uh, the course uh, search bar, and there's a feature that is not what you commonly get on a, a Moodle site, which is the categories drop down that you see uh, here on on the photo. Um, so the categories drop down uh, is also a feature that works different on mobile and desktop. So we really want to nail down uh, this usability testing so we get the best out of it. And yeah, so the the test is already in sent and we're gonna be launching it soon.